deep in bear country lives the Bernstein bear family. <laughs> the kind of furry around the torso. There are a lot of people, only more so. The bear fact is that they're just like you and me. The only difference is they live in a tree. The Bernstein bears. When things go wrong, <laughs> things might be. When summertime ends and the weather turns cool, most little bears are ready for school. Bear Country Mall is the place to be for great back-to-school parties. And check out our specials in the sewing department. You won't believe the savings. Hmm. While you two finish getting your school supplies, I'll go and pick up a few things in the sewing department. Okay. Bye, Mama. I need a new pencil case. Please hold this, brother. What? Hey, sis! Just for a minute. <sighs> whoa, whoa. I'm looking for one that's purple. <laughs> no kidding. Ugh. I want it to match my Barbie backpack. Could you hurry up, please? I'm going to ask for help. I'll be right back. Hey! Don't leave me here with all your stuff. Uh. Hey, huh? is that you, brother? Oh, no. Ooh, look at the nice backpack. Yeah, I didn't know you were a Barbie boy. Look, it's not my... And I didn't know you were a barrette boy either. Guys, those aren't my barrettes. Very nice. They really bring out the color of your eyes. I found one! Huh? Thanks for holding my things. You see? It's her stuff. Hey, we're here getting school supplies, too. That's right. We've got comic books and water pistols and pea shooters. Don't you know you're not allowed to have those things at school? Really? I didn't know that. You sure you're old enough to go to school? Yes, I'm going into third grade with Teacher Jane. <gasps> third grade? You hear that, guys? Wasn't third grade the worst grade ever? Oh, for sure. I still have nightmares about it. It was so hard. All those big numbers, whew. And long words. And teacher Jane sending us to the principal's office every day? <gasps> she nearly failed the whole class. She did? Don't listen to them, sister. They're just trying to scare you. No way. You never had a brother. We did. I don't envy you, that's for sure. Come on, guys. You better have fun while you still can, kid. What a bunch of clowns. Look at these delicious apples I just got from Farmer Ben. They look great, Papa. They're good for eating, and apparently great for pies, too. Well, I can't wait to taste your pie, Papa. Me? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know how to make pies. Pies are hard. Like third grade. <sighs> I don't want to go to school. Huh? Too Tall and his gang were teasing Sister, telling her third grade was going to be really hard. I told her not to listen to them. They weren't the only ones who said it would be hard. Who else told you? My second grade teacher said we'd have to work harder this year. You always have to work harder when you move up a grade. But it's not going to be rough and tough like Too Tall said. Brother's right. Apple, anyone? And don't believe a word they say about Teacher Jane. You've never had her. Too Tall has. Well, yes, but... I don't want to go to school. But you did very well at school last year. 
And you loved it. But this year the numbers are going to be a lot bigger. And so are the words. Hey, I have something to show you. Come on, sis. This is all my old school work from third grade. Here's a spelling list. Apprehensive. What does that mean? It means afraid. That's all. Precipitation. What's that? Rain. Well, why don't they just say afraid and rain? Do you know what a synonym is? Uh-huh. It's my favorite spice. Like synonym toast and synonym buns. <laughs> no, that's synonym. I said synonym. It's a word that's spelled differently, but it means the same thing. See what I mean? What's this? Things we studied in mathematics. That's long division. It looks a lot harder than it is. It's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? It's just like Tutal said. It's too hard. Oh, dear. You've worked yourself into a tizzy. Mama, I don't want to go to school. I want to stay home with you. I could help you make pies. Did somebody say pie? I've got the apples peeled and ready to go. All I need is someone with pie-making know-how. I have an easy recipe for pie. You followed recipes before, Papa. Uh, but not for pie. <laughs> I can't make pies. Well, I've got a photo album to find. Why are you getting the photo album out, Mama? I was just thinking back to when Sister was as worried about going to kindergarten as she is about going to third grade. I loved kindergarten. Well, yes. Once you got there, you did. Miss Honeybear was really nice, and that's where I met Lizzie. And they had lots of toys, and... <laughs> yes, yes. That's right, Sister. But you didn't know all those things before you went, and you were very worried. I don't want to go to kindergarten, Mama. I want to stay here with you. Sister, I know new things can sometimes be upsetting. But if we don't try them, we don't grow and learn. That's what kindergarten is all about. But what if the teacher doesn't like me? Why wouldn't she like you? You're a very likable cub. Yeah, <laughs> well, most of the time. <laughs> I know Miss Honeybear will be happy to have you in her kindergarten class. But I can't go tomorrow. I... I'm too busy. <laughs> too busy? I promised brother I'd make a picture. Well, you can make me a picture at kindergarten, sister. They've got lots of paint and crayons in every color you can think of. But I want to hear my storybooks. They have lots of books at kindergarten, too. With stories you haven't heard before. I was going to build something with my blocks. They have enough blocks to build a castle at kindergarten. That was one of Brother's favorite things about school. There's a tub of blocks taller than you. What do you say, sister? Can you give kindergarten a try? And so you went with Brother on the bus for your first day of school. If I sit here? Uh huh. Welcome to Bear Country School. My name is Miss Honey Bear, and I'm your new kindergarten teacher. Would you like to come inside and meet your classmates? I just thought I'd stop by to see how you were doing. I'm having fun. Brother was right. They do have lots of paint colors. More than a hundred. <laughs> Is that right? And they do have a big tub of blocks, just like Papa said. 
Lizzie and I built a giant castle. Lizzie? Uh-huh. She's my new friend. New best friend. Pleased to meet you, Lizzie. Hi, we're having recess. And what do you do at recess? Um, do you know? This is my first one. Oh, <laughs> I'll help you get started. Come on over to the swings and I'll push you. Okay, that's a good idea. And that's how you discovered how much you like school. I was really worried then, but when I got there, I liked it a lot. Just think what would have happened if you hadn't tried it at all. So what do you think about third grade now? Hmm, I guess I could try it. Have fun at school. We will. Sister, I thought Teacher Jane might like one of these. Thanks, Papa. Well, sister, how was third grade? It was great, Mama. We did some new math problems and learned some new words. So it wasn't that much harder? It was a bit harder, but I guess I'm just getting smarter. <laughs> Too bad Too Tall can't say the same. The teacher took away his pea shooter and comic books. <laughs> Too Tall should have listened to me. Instead of you listening to him. <laughs> Mama, did you make an apple pie? No. I made a pie. You made a pie, Papa? Yep. I figured if Sister could try something new, then so could I. Well, it smells great. And you know, it wasn't very tricky after all. It was as easy as, <laughs> well, pie. <laughs> <laughs> When Mama and Papa had a week-long retreat, the cubs went to Grandma's and were in for a treat. Huh? Suitcases? So our reservations for Grizzly Mountain Lodge are all set? Thank you so much. See you soon. Reservations? <gasps> we're going on, on vacation. vacation! Well, actually, it's a second honeymoon. Still sounds like fun. Mm. <laughs> Especially the honey part. I haven't seen these in ages. I wonder if my serve is still... Mm. Ah! Papa! Are you okay? Maybe you should just let brother and me play tennis on the honeymoon. But you and Mama can keep score. Sorry, sweeties. But honeymoons aren't for cubs. Honeymoons are special trips that couples go on after they get married. It's an old tradition. Grizzly Mountain Lodge is where Mama and I went on our first honeymoon. But what about us? Well, you're going on a special trip of your own. <gasps> is it Grizzly World? Is it Honeycomb Amusement Park? You're going to Grandma's. Grand's? That should do it. Board games, books, yo-yo. I wonder if I should bring my chemistry set. I'm bringing puzzles, coloring books, and Teddy. <sighs> beep, beep, coming through. Hey, what's all this doing out here? Well, we are going to Grand's for a whole week. We need to keep busy. <laughs> Come on now. You always have fun at Grand's house without all this stuff. When we go for one afternoon, maybe. And Gran and Graham, sir, well, old. Maybe they'll want to take naps all day. <clears throat> Papa, what about our toys? You won't need all those. You're going to have too much fun with Gran and Gramps. I wonder if the lodge still has canoe rides on the lake. 
And live music in the dance hall. Hmm. Mama and Papa are going to have all the fun. And we're going to have none. See you next week. Drive safely. Bye. Have fun. Come on, Cubs. I guess the place has changed a little over the years. That's okay. So have we. Wow, look at this! I build them for the seniors' charity auction. They're always a big seller. But how do you get the ship inside through the little hole? Magic. Real magic? <laughs> Well, a real neat trick, anyway. Come on, I'll show you. Just flatten the sails down, gently slide it in, and pop! Anchors away! Neat! Can we build one, Gramps? Absolutely. We have a whole week. You can do whatever you like. Gramps, is this a treasure chest? Well, it is to me. Open it up! Wow! Hey! We can be a band! <laughs> well, you might want to ask Gran for some harmonica lessons first. She's a harmonica whiz! Gran? You bet. My specialty has always been the yo-yo. Ready, set, yo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Who's ready for lunch? I've made hot pretzels and honey buns. Oh, boy! I am! Mmm! And homemade jams! Gran, can you teach me how to play the harmonicker? <laughs> oh, that's harmonica, sweetie. And I most certainly can. It's easy. Let's see if you know this one. <laughs> Walk the dog! Remember how much fun we had playing tennis on our first honeymoon? I remember winning every game. <laughs> I was just letting my new bride win. But not this time. I've been practicing my lightning serve. Huh? Hey! Uh, come back here! Oh. Now for my favorite part of lunch. Dessert. Oh, no! Gran forgot the honey for the honey buns. No, she didn't. Gran makes the buns, and I make the honey. With some help, of course. Watch it, Gramps. They'll sting you. I do this all the time. First, you smoke the bees out to calm them down. Then, you gently pry the hive open. Loosen up a frame and pull out the honeycomb. Mm, Delicious! So good! Yum. <sighs> oh, I'm stuffed. Feeling sleepy, are we? <sighs> no, but if you and Gran want to take a nap, Actually, I was hoping to take you to my favorite fishing hole. If you catch anything, we can fire up the barbecue tonight and eat out. Oh, boy! It'll be just like camping. Oh, it's just as beautiful as I remember it on our first honeymoon. I just love the sounds of nature. Ow! 
Uh oh. At least we'll have a good appetite for dinner. This is the best fishing spot, Gran. Thanks for bringing us here. You're welcome, Cubs. A fish! Gran! A fish! Hey! I got one, too! Papa loves fish. But I bet even he couldn't eat all this. Oh, it's just like I remember it. <laughs> and my old jacket still fits me. But uh, maybe I'll loosen the button. Because as I recall, the portions here were huge. Luckily, some things don't change. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, because I'm <laughs> starving. Just as well. We shouldn't eat too much if we want to go dancing later. <laughs> Your turn, Cubs. Show them what we taught you. Grab your cub and swing her around. Give her a twirl and dance around. If it's too loud for you, we can go! Hello. Hi, Gran. Just calling to see if everything's okay. Oh, we've had a marvelous week. <laughs> the cubs haven't worn you out? And Papa Bear said, someone's been sleeping in my bed. And Mama Bear said, someone's been sleeping in my bed. Then Baby Bear said, someone's been sleeping in my bed. And look, she's still there. Oh, I think we're managing. How about you and Papa? Did you have fun? Let's just say we're anxious to get back home. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, dear. Look! I can do it! Walk the dog! Listen! I can play a scale! Hey! Hey! Mama! Mama Papa! Papa. Bye. 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 So, how was your week with Grandma? I can't believe a whole week is over. We had so much fun. When are you and Papa going to go on another honeymoon, Mama? Hmm. Well, we were thinking our next trip should be a family vacation. How about Grizzly World? Yeah. When can we spend another week at Grandma's? You know, we were wrong about Gramps and Gran. They're really kind of cool. 